You there, boy. Do you like tacos? <laughs> what are you doing? That's a, like a, I'm like the governor of a, mm. like a small, oh, I haven't figured it out yet. Well, okay. Uh-huh. Hold it's, on, let me try again. Uh, you there, boy. Do uh, you like tacos? Don't call me boy. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, what are you playing the part of, oh, uh, I see yeah, what you yeah, did. Yeah, yeah. I'm a uh, Apologies, I'm yeah. blind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm, I, I'm, I'm doing yeah. yes and. Mm, oh, uh, okay. I, I didn't know, I'm, I'm sorry, I didn't see no, your no. Racist, <laughs> get him! <laughs> Hashtag me too! <laughs> Uh, why are you saying racist? Uh, racist, <laughs> get him! I'm blind! <laughs> can blind people be racist? I don't think so. Um, you can probably tell by the voice of <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Gringo's Logos. <laughs> Samantha Gilly. <laughs> She's like, you idiots! You idiots! Hold on, hold on, hold on. I can pivot this. I can no, pivot okay. this. You wanna, you wanna, we're not, we're not I can do this. We're not recording this. We're not. Okay. We're going we're to hold fast. Okay. I can do this. Okay. You want to, uh, something that every Nash, Nash, Nationality, Color mm-hmm. Creed, everybody can agree on yeah. is a delicious green no, there, yeah. taco. 100%. It's the food that brings everyone together. Everybody loves tacos and gringos locos. No pedophiles! <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll save it. That'll yeah, save it. you got to put if that they, in there. If they listen, they'll be yeah. like, I don't know about Now it's a charity commercial. <laughs> <laughs> We're against the no pedophiles. Everything else you said, besides uh, how much you like the tacos, please cut out. I mean, like, guys, you only talked about the taco for like maybe three <laughs> seconds. You didn't even talk about pink taco for uh, October. Here it is, November. What? You're doing Ooh. the blind racist guy yeah, bit. Yeah, uh, did, again, then, it was like the fifth time. You yeah. did it. <laughs> how many times did you get to do this blind racist thing? Really? It's not working, guys. There's a bunch of different locations. There's the original location downtown. That's what got me to fall in love with Gringos mm-hmm. to begin with. Yeah, you and your wife used to yeah. go down there. You were OGs, and yeah. then they got their location of Milk District. Yep. Then they got they worked really hard, got two locations in the Amway Center. They got a new one on Michigan. Yeah. I'm There's mi- one out by UCF. Yep, uh, and I think they're doing more. Um, you can go to GringosLocos.com and see all their locations and get their catering because uh, I've used their... It's the best. Daniel's used I actually it. like it better. That's how lazy I am now. It's like yeah. the catering. Yeah. It's like it's even better when you bring it to me. And they yeah. have some menu items that you can only get on the catering menu, yes. like queso cones. Those guaco tacos are really good. It's a vegetarian option. Um, but they do big, small, wedding, you know, just a party. I know Bart Merrick uses them for catering. I know uh, Craig from Pyrospot uses them for yeah, catering. Yeah. I've done my birthday party for you. I know you did your son's birthday party. If you haven't tr- tried a Double D taco, you are missing out on You're- Orlando's quintessential taco. Okay. Like, seriously. I- I wasn't going to say this, but I'm going to say it. There are other taco places now that have jumped onto, and they're trying to do a version of the Double D. It's real big. Like, they're throwing it out there right now, and it is not good comparatively. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is just not good. Yeah, I'll go, go one step above. If you haven't tried a Double D from Gringos, you are as bad as the blind racist. <laughs> you are. You're a blind racist. Yeah. Yeah. They're like, guys, I, we don't want anything yeah, to do we, with that. Don't, please don't call our patrons that. <laughs> Gringoslocos.com. With us in studio, he's been here before. Mm-hmm. Um, in fact, we were having a conversation. Uh, well, we had to get him right first. I yeah. shared. I shared oh, right no. oh I, yeah. let's do some uh, podcasting. Yeah, we're ready to pod. <laughs> let's do some podcasting. We no, prepared. We <laughs> prepared. We, we got out Killer Bees. Shout out to Killer Bees. Yeah, he gifted us some <laughs> shine from a pretty coveted still. You know, it's popcorn Legendary. sauce recipe. Yeah. Legendary. And, yeah. and it is as clear. It's more clear than water. And... And, uh, and it hits you real quick. Oh, it'll too. get you. Don't take long. It'll blow. I your, just got it. Blow your feet off. Yeah. All right, let's do some podcast. <laughs> yeah. So, ah. Tell you what. <laughs> yeah. So we, yeah, Killer Bees did come. Uh, what? What did he? Like, was it last week? He was last yeah, week. Last but we week. put him on AC. Oh, so that's fresh stuff too. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, it's that's so good. hitting, man. I'm just a warm. I'm gonna start sweating. I need a time. Start sweating. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> Killer Bees. He's, good looking out. <laughs> he uh, he's on that show, uh, Moonshiners. Yes, he is. And uh, he brought. Us some uh, moonshine straight yeah. allegedly. From the, yeah, yeah, yeah. Allegedly. Said, like, I mean, just yeah. I don't care. Oh, no, just, <laughs> believe me. Oh, it's happening. We have moonshine one hundred percent. You take it from me. <laughs> Killer Beings gave it to us, and he one hundred percent got it, it from the show. <laughs> and he made it, and it was illegal. <laughs> that, yep. uh, I will bet any m- amount of money. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but anyway, uh, and that stuff is good. Now take it yeah. from me. Not allegedly. Yeah. This is some good <laughs> stuff here. It's early in the morning. I'm lit, so and, I need to go and. Get me! I need to go to Einstein's. I got to get me a bagel. Or some, I need something. I got to soak this stuff up. That's not been the best idea to get me drunk. <laughs> 
<laughs> I know. <laughs> Ten in the morning. Man. Man. It was y'all, my fault. Y'all I like some that, bad John. influences, man. I can't stand you. Every time I come here, y'all do this to me. <laughs> John Hinton is here. He's going to be at the improv, and he did take a shot of the yeah, moonshine. Did. Allegedly. Yeah, yeah, allegedly. Allegedly. 100 percent You can take that to the club with you if you want to. Just yeah. pass it around the audience. Man. Everybody's oh, everybody. That'd be the best show ever. <laughs> He'll be uh, at the improv. Two shows tonight. Two shows tomorrow. We one call show it on the Sunday. standard. Yeah. yeah, get those tickets while you can, y'all. Yeah. And uh, before the show started, uh, uh, us and John were talking about. There, he's it's like, it's a rough it's, week. It's a yeah. rough week uh, for this comedy. It's a week to do comedy, man. Um, show must go on. Because hmm. John Witherspoon passed away did, this indeed. week, and we were kind of talking about John. God, um, he is the focal point of our bathroom too. When you walk in there, right above our our paper towels, there is a massive picture of, of him, and he wrote. You know, uh, you know, uh, you know, a famous quote of his, and then he mm. wrote, and then obviously Spoon is real big on there. And right. every time I go in there, I'm washing my hands. I look right up at that, yeah. and I will until we leave the studio. Yeah. In fact, I'll probably have to cut and that piece of drywall out and take it with me. He was such an influence, kind on and a kind people. man. Yeah. He didn't have to be cool to us. He didn't, yeah, but he, it, but he's cool because he earned it. I mean, it's got seventy seven. He had been around since Richard Pryor. He was doing the comedy store with Richard yeah, Pryor yeah. back in the unbelievable. day. Unbelievable, and, and unbelievable. And every time. John would come in here, I'd always respect the fact that the guy was a hustler and he was uh he was a grinder. Like he, was he, working, he dude. never stopped working. Yeah. Like he, he would tell us all these projects you still on the road. <laughs> yeah. Like how many dates did you say was- 40, he he said I was just listening, he was on a DL show and he, he said he was doing forty five weeks a year. That is insane. He's like seventy seven <laughs> years old, man. Like if I mean most it, comedians would, would love to be wanted. Forty-five yeah. times, and I'm right. You know what I mean? mean? Like, it was like to this be, is the guy to be uh, like uh, in demand enough to have oh, that many shows. But people know? just loved him. His brand sold, and people want like when he got paid, and he got paid a lot of money. Yeah, yeah. And when he when he was settling up in the office at, at the Improv after the show, they were saying, "All right, when can we get you back?" Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. he would leave there with a large sum of money and a return date. Well, every he, time. he told John, us the last time he was in. I re-listened to both best. both yeah. times we had him. Actually, I think we. Had him in three times. No, it was two, two times. Yeah, but the 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 second time, I um, think it was three because it was twice here and one at the old studio. That's what I thought too, but yeah. I couldn't find the other interview. If I find yeah. it, I'll put it out okay. for everybody because our yeah. audience right. went yeah. crazy. Definitely, when I re-released those, they were like, "Oh my god, thank you for doing this." My yeah. wife's idea too, by the way, because I was not, I was not uh, happy about it. She's like, yeah. "No, it's a tribute. He would want that." That's out right. There. At least she was thinking. Well, yeah. Yeah. What kind of podcast is this? To where she's? I, I, thank goodness they she's... do everything. <laughs> like, look, we got to have a woman. Finally, got a woman in yeah, there. Things running. All right, good, good. But, now we got it but he, Thank you. He says at the end of the show, he's like, I get my calendar out. Do you remember this? Yeah. He yeah. goes, I get my calendar out, and I book the year. Yep. Like, he starts, and he goes, I start, like, I'll, I'll start it, like, around October, November, December, and I will start at January of 2020. And I, So he was probably already booked out, I would imagine. Yeah. And, oh, no doubt. And, you know, and, the guy, uh, so such a hard worker. And, and John, you could attest to this because, like, some people out there may be thinking, like, oh, well, uh, my dad, he is uh, 70 years old. He still goes to work every day. But, but he may go, he, you know, he wanders in around uh, 11 a.m. Right. and then he leaves around 2 30 p.m. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, there's a people that kind of slow down as they <laughs> retire. And maybe they, like, you know, you drive up five miles, you go to work for a couple hours, then you come home and you're like, oh, okay, that technically that is going to work. But Witherspoon was on the road. Yeah. He was on the, he'd yeah. leave on Thursday or yeah, whatever. Yeah, take yeah. the red eye to some city, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, eight hundred miles away, yeah. and and do uh, clubs every night. Like that is forty five weeks a year. Yeah, man. I mean, airplanes, you hotels, the yeah. uh, podcasts, radio, yeah, yeah. do all the media every the show, morning, yeah. taking pictures, the whole thing. Dude, and he was accessible like that. That man. would be hard for me. Yeah. Like now, I'd be like, oh my god, that's too much. Yeah. Like. Witherspoon was still doing it like yeah. forty well, you, 30, plus weeks a year. Thirty-seven, and I'm like, I'm like, oh my god! I no, but I mean, like that. Yeah. You're, you're right, though. I mean, the amount of yeah. I mean, this is not just wandering into yeah, your uh, office I, job. I, right. Like it is. And you have, you have this, is this too. Yeah. You have this too. You're, you got. I think he wins because he were. It's it goes back to what we always say when we when you know when we have you know comedians come in here. Yeah. Work hard. Don't be an asshole. 
That's that, it. I mean, that's pretty. That's the, yeah. that's, and he was loving. I mean, he was so look kind. Look on Facebook. Look on Twitter, man. You see people all over just yeah. just saying how much they loved him and how much he he you know he touched their lives. I don't think I've oh, seen man, people great, that didn't know him. I saw more of my friends react to this than yeah. almost anybody in in think a good about minute. That. Like yeah. actors, you know, it's yeah. all kind of actors. But this guy, you know, he took pictures with you. And, you know, it's like he really touched people's lives. You know, and um, first so person the, I thought of the David Letterman. Because yeah. they're like best friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I don't, I don't remember seeing him say anything about it. I bet that hurt. Yeah, uh, that's oh gotta, yeah, that that had to be a stinger because they were so tight. Because this guy's been around, man. <laughs> man. He started as a male model, right? In the in catalogs, I, he's a catalog model. You know, right? yeah, uh, yeah. from Detroit. Man. Yeah, yeah. He's, yeah, he's doing some yeah. stuff in yeah. the D, man. Yeah. He's you, in the D, baby. He, Put the hot sauce on the burrito. Started as a male model. Come on. Yeah. It, it seems like yeah. bang, bang, bang. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's doing yeah. it. He's coordinating. And, and I, man, the times that we talked to him, I, I like I remember thinking like he probably will never stop working, and he didn't. Like he you didn't. know, he worked till he the never, end. Like and that's he, the best it, way to go out, man. Like Joan River. Joan Rivers died. She had a gig the next day. Yeah, that, that's the thing. <laughs> he died Tuesday. He was supposed to be in Jacksonville this week. Yeah, that's yeah, how. Yeah. That, that's how wow. I want to go out, man. It's like yeah. as long as you're funny and you're relevant, you can still do comedy. He's 77, and he was booked up through next year. That Come is, on, yeah, it's, you can't awesome. beat that. Yeah, yeah. how long have yeah. you been doing this now? I've been doing this. Oh gosh, since '83. <sighs> wow, that's amazing. Yeah. Congratulations, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, and just to I like, I mean, that's an amazing amount of. I mean, I was born in '82. Yeah, you know, what I'm saying yeah. like you've been working you like young blood, life. Young, 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 <laughs> I've been slinging jokes. I, no, I know, but that, that is an amazing. It, like, and it seems like his career more impressive than you existed. <laughs> yeah, I know, that, I know. Okay. Can true. I say that? Yes, you okay, can. You can. Right. Both but, about the same age, way better. But it, but that that I. But he's starting like, though. He's got potential. So he's got a ways to go. He got potential. <laughs> and, and I hope we do, yeah. Lord. We celebrated our ten years, and this is a nice pocket. I mean, the studio bad. is the, look. This bad. is all jazz. Because last time it was but, just a house, yeah. yeah. It was just, but now look at that. We got stuff. We got killer bees, Pretty, moon we shot. got air conditioning. We all right now. Yeah, we do. <laughs> you don't have to open windows and stuff <laughs> yeah, yeah. and wait for cars to go by. All right, be quiet. It's I'll a cut car. that out. <laughs> That's a garbage jar. Cut it out. John, is there is there a way like because now that got me thinking like for a career stand up, if you want to always keep working like Witherspoon I mean he was always traveling and it seems like that is the only downfall I don't think we're that tough up. I don't think we're that tough though it's like it, if it doesn't work with the traveling part it, is the tra- is the is the fact that to I don't continue to work you got to travel you got to travel and plus you not- guys have families and shit I don't know how that works yeah 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 I'm There's, too soft I feel like I don't think I could I don't yeah, think I could do that on the road it, it, as long as everybody road, understands this is what we do man yeah. it was um, Mike and I were the talking money about in. you know relationships and stuff like that. As long as everybody know, daddy got to make this money. Yeah. You know, it's like I get to see my daughter this week. She lives here. You know, I get I get to see my baby. But you know, everybody knows I, I had to go make that money. That's how everything works yeah. out. You know, so the, you got to have understanding, sure. your partners, and and just roll. I have no problem getting on the on the flights now. You know, I get upgraded because you fly so yeah, much. Yeah, you yeah, get yeah, upgraded yeah. so you're in first class. You get drunk for free. That's important. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> hotels. You know, you get a free room. It, yeah, you know, yeah. it works out for me. Yeah, yeah. Do you have, do you have like a standard routine? I mean, how many how many hotels? You know, I've always wanted to know. Hold on, can I, can I ask this? Because I, mean, I always wanted to know, and this is going to be my new question. I ask every 10, comedian we have in. Okay, do you unpack your bag? Yeah, and put everything in everything. the furniture that's in the because my really? wife does, okay, I, my I, wife does I, this unpack. on a cruise. Yeah, and I have a theory. When I go on a cruise, when I used to go on a cruise by myself, I would just live out of the suitcase, right? Oh, if it's just a one nighter or something like that, then she yeah. unpacks everything. But uh, no, if if I'm if I'm uh, setting up camp for a couple of days, I unpack everything. Yeah, if yeah. it's just a one nighter, just out of the suitcase, I know I'm out of here in the morning. My wife, but, no, even if it's we're, if we're in the hotel room for three hours, she takes everything out. <laughs> oh my god, puts no. it in really. The, well, but I think it increases the livability of the the room. The experience, yeah, it yeah, does. Yeah. It doesn't. It's it's a psychological thing. Yeah. Right, you go right. to get socks and they're in a drawer. Something is better about that. Yeah, I, I don't I know. You're right. You're right. You're Instead of right. having to dig under my toothpaste to get a pair of yeah, socks, yeah. Like, you know, like yeah. weird. John, just to it's, I know it's just a little thing. But I know. I think I, it I matters. Yeah. I think it matters. Do you, do you have? Okay, but you stayed in so many hotels. Yeah. Uh, do you, oh my uh, god! And people are talking. Uh, oh, my wife's gonna get mad, mad, and they're making fun of her. Now. Yeah. Do you have a routine now that you go through uh, when you like check in a hotel or like or something that you have to have in each hotel that? 
makes it uh, that much better. Like I'm all wondering, the like, pillows. Well, I'm wondering if there's something that like pillows. if there's hacks throughout the years that you just learned that uh, this makes the experience better uh, doing this stuff, or is it like eh, you don't concern yourself? No, nah, just a good hotel. I mean, mm. starting off staying in, in some of the some of the sleazy places I stay, just ah, a good hotel yeah. room. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Orlando yeah, yeah. Improv. They yeah. give you a good hotel yeah, room. Yeah. We'll bust them out right yeah. now. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> I'm good. They, they take care of you here. They, they take. Well, care. we have a lot of hotels. You yeah, know what I mean, yeah. you I, I got feel, hotels everywhere. Yeah, I you feel know. like it's it, this is a good yeah. place to go to need a room because yeah. if you what, didn't like that one, we got a million. You know, that's the thing. They would put you up anywhere. You know, they they put you everywhere. But it was it was always nice, like Coco Keys. You know, it's like all the little kitty resort and stuff. No, and oh, yeah, ordinarily yeah, yeah. you wouldn't want to be there. I got a daughter that loved that place, so yeah. that that worked oh, out for me. You know, when I when I stayed there, it was right there. Brought my baby. We we swam all day. I was tired. As hell doing those two shows <laughs> Saturday, man. John, what's, has, what's the worst hotel you've been put John up? John going down a water slide. Yeah, show what? No problem. Loop the loops and all, man. I love that place. Yeah, have that's you ever? Hilarious. Have you ever been put up a hotel so bad that you went back to the club and you're like, "Fuck this, I'm not staying here." <laughs> um, it was. Let's see. No, because uh, it it was free. It was. Um, it was a condo that I had to check out of. Uh, oh, they know, do that they a lot. The, where they the own comedy one. condos yeah, yeah. and stuff. Ah. And this this was this was a bad scene. And I said, "Look, I'll be at the. Uh, I'm leaving here. I'll be at the Marriott. If y'all want me to, uh, <laughs> if you want me to show up for this show tonight, make sure you pay my bill because oh. I'll be at the Marriott. I like yeah. that move. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like that move. I'm like, it's up to you, man. But I'm not staying here. No, not not here. <laughs> was it was it because it was a a crappy condo or like bad fleas? Part? Oh. Oh, fleas! Oh, Come on! Oh, That's no. the last thing I expected you to say. Fleas! It was like, bing, bing, bing! Fleas <laughs> on my socks! Fleas! A lot of people don't know that fleas do make that noise, too. <laughs> 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 yeah. Piano wire. Yeah. So I told him I'll be at the Marriott if y'all want me at the show. Do any might clubs pay this bill. do yeah. any clubs take advantage of the new the new uh, and recent love that you know I know you and Samantha have for Airbnbs? I can't get on board yet because I'm a, a grumpy no. ass old you man. Think, you like, would think they'd have some sort of deal with some local Airbnb and like a, yeah. stay in a nicer house. Or, or you stay that, in somebody's house where they got cameras up and they watch. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, hell no! no. So you got to buy a camera. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, you got. Yeah, you got. You got to do that because you hear about that. All the yeah. time. Hey, now I got at the g- hotel <laughs> and I hire something. I'm gonna sue the hell out of Marriott. You're right. You're right. Yeah, but at, at this house, video on John you know. Hinton's dick. Yeah, yeah. He was well, and, and on this the impressive. Toilet, it's, toilet camp. It's, it's yeah. impressive. It's you huge. Wanna, you want to see this? It, no, it's not so big, but it's sturdy. <laughs> it's, it's, it's sturdy. sturdy. <laughs> Here's a guy from Living Single taking a shit. <laughs> I got a video of it. So, John, it's a I, it's a moonshine shit. Real messy. It's a killer bee special. It's a killer bee special. Like, you're not gonna believe this. John Hinton, <laughs> Overton had but come the on, man. Overton you, had the moonshine shit in right. my Airbnb. Like, that's why, right. Why would, and you get get a, yeah, the yeah. Airbnb. You bring freak in there, and, and it's like I, they got they got video of that. Yeah, yeah, I can't yeah, do yeah. the Airbnb. No, I can't do it, man. <laughs> I'm, not, I, I'm not staying at your house. I don't know how nasty y'all are. I don't. I'm not there yet. <laughs> yeah. And he makes fun of me, and she makes fun of me. Uh, and Samantha, and, you 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 yeah, you are with that. I think I was the first one that started doing it. Yeah, on the show. Yeah, yeah. Here's the thing. I. I believe that is a, a f- you also were the the first person to find that Popeye's chicken sandwich. Yeah, that's right. Here's fucking did. a yeah. Sunday is Christmas for everybody. Oh, yeah, it's coming Sunday. back. Oh yeah, that's I- I, Sunday is Popeye's fried chicken sandwich day. It's coming back, wake y'all. Wake up early. Yeah. Yeah. Oh here's my, my God. Here's my That's theory. That's a good sandwich. I'm, I'm glad it's white people saying that chicken <laughs> thing. That, that thing embarrassed me so well, bad. Our, our Just <laughs> black folks sitting around the corner. It's like, like we've never had that. It's like stereotypes come from somewhere, and Lord knows that we just did our part on this <laughs> that one. That one I never understood because I, I my parents like are from Virginia. Yeah, but so we're very Southern. So to me, like what people would call soul food was never soul food to me. I it was, was like, just that's, food. That's just what that's we just eat. Food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So my mom eats pickles, pig feet, uh, just yeah, warm, okay. warm Southern, red yeah. wine. You know, like, it, it, yeah, our we diets, were, our diets were similar. Yeah, yeah. We're trash yeah, people. I got you. Yeah, I got like, you. But it was so funny because yeah. people like freaking out. You got to have the soul food. I was yeah. like. Yeah, no, no, collard greens, mustard greens, that's what we make. That, you know? That's like, how you do it, yeah. So that's the only thing is, is it was like, you know, yeah, everybody everybody loves fried chicken. I mean, it's delicious and stuff. But only few people fight 
you know, to go through the drive, and then when you out of the particular sandwich, that you jump through the drive through. That see, that was the part where I'm like, kudos to the black people, yeah, because it's, it's like the stereotypes are there, and, and you just making it. You are jumping through the drive through window because they're out of chicken. You've never had that before, black man, right? Really? Come on, man, we've had it before. You're, you're right. I'm Jeez. with you, and, and it's and, just and, sad to see bro. brothers just losing their mind. No, y'all gonna give me my chicken? Hell no! Stop it, brother. Think about what. You're doing. And here's the thing, John, I agree with you. And if you're gonna do it, don't film it. <laughs> yeah, don't put yeah, it on this yeah, social yeah, for yeah. racist you're white not, people. I'd be like, yeah. see, I told look at, you. Look yeah, at yeah. him jumping through the window trying to get some chicken. Yeah, yeah, you're just giving yeah, fuel yeah. to racists. And the watermelon <laughs> dessert. Don't forget that, you mother. <laughs> yeah, don't film it. <laughs> uh John, I follow you on yes, Twitter. Man, I help you? And uh <laughs> and you're a huge Buckeyes fan. I'm, that's my thing, yeah, man. Yeah. Buckeyes. That, that's it. I, I don't I don't talk about too much. So yeah. I'll, I'm curious to see what you feel about this because recently uh, the NCAA passed, uh, like basically, you know, California did first, but now yeah. uh, all of NCAA said that uh, players happening. can profit off their yeah. images, yeah. Uh, their likeness, their names. And how do you feel about that? I think it, it, it's something that they they should do. I mean, college ball is bringing in billions. Man. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, bringing yeah. in billions. It's insane and, it's, and it's like it's not about the education because these guys are playing two years. They playing the the, the exact minimum and. They going out. Chase Young is about to go out and get the, like the biggest contract ever. Yeah, you know? yeah, this, yeah, this guy is going up for Heisman. You know, so but at least with players, you should be able to uh, give me some spending money. Let me go home. You know, give me a plane ticket home. It's a funeral. I should not miss my relative funeral because I don't have any money. And 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 I'm I got the number one selling jersey yeah, in yeah, the yeah. country. Yeah, right yeah. Now. I, I, why can't it be bankable? Like why yeah. can't it be stored? Yeah. In, in, you just know, just I mean, give me something. I'm yeah, selling it, all it, these jerseys. You if know, they're worried about the the adolescent aspect of you being a, a, a kid and making money not knowing w- what to do with it, then teach yeah. responsibility. I, it should be a class about way. that. Is that the yeah. argument they're using? No, no, no. Oh. I'm just saying <laughs> I like, uh... I, I, I'm saying maybe maybe you could spin it into a really good thing by uh, investing it in a way that, that this particular person will have money well, for the rest of their life. Adult, yeah. essentially, they are they can but, do whatever they want with their money. But yeah. there's a, I, I think you even see it with uh, grown adults that go oh, yeah. into the NFL, NBA, yeah. what have you. And then they it get doesn't wrecked. last long. Even comedians do it. You, 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 I'm sure you've seen guys that yeah. pop off, start doing well, and then they get reckless with it. Yeah. And now you know, 2019, they got nothing. Yeah, you, you could make it a really it, good thing. I mean, it why should not? be a mandatory business class for uh, any any athlete. You know, yeah. it's like, look, if you, you are, don't do anything now. else, I know, I know, this is what you planning on doing. Uh, you 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 going pro? You're not here. You're not taking any class. But this should be mandatory yeah. right here. You got to pass this and just give them uh, just some basic skills Manage because you see yeah. so many people that come out the wrong way, man. And, and that's because they were young. They they only they only go to um, like college basketball. You only go for one year, right. so it should be that one year. Because that dude is about to make, he's about to get a hundred million dollar <laughs> uh, signing. I mean, a shoe deal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, mm. so the one class you got to be at. This is the one, man. Yeah, yeah. Just, no, just I, taking care of business. I that, agree. That would help him out if you really wanted. If you really did care about it, why you making that as much money as you gonna make off of that one year run? Yeah, you know. I feel like potentially, if you did it correctly, you could end up making better professional athletes. Yeah, you yeah. could. Yeah, and, because but, they would already know like what to do. I mean, yep. look at look at how many busts like uh, Johnny Menzel, like somebody like that who yeah. you look, like he's just a reckless maniac, right? Yeah, yeah. For yeah. all intents and purposes, it, but but he's good because. His family was rich, so he right. wasn't really worried about. It. He was just some some cats coming up, and this their first time getting. It. Those are the ones you really need to, um, you know, just just make sure that they take this class. It's important. Yeah, and, I, and, I think. And it seems like a lot of pro, like it seems like in in NBA, like guys like LeBron James has really been like a uh, a mentor to a lot of upcoming basketball players to be like, oh, this guy did it right. Like this yeah, guy yeah. started young, he turned himself into a brand, he kept himself clean, yep. right. he he. he uh, uh, like didn't uh, fall into any no. sort of uh, bullshit. Right. Uh, no, nope. uh, uh, like on TMZ doing like you know. And like, we say he did it right. I, we don't know the particulars, but obviously from no well, scandals, he kept his nose yeah. no, clean. No, no yeah. scandals, seems, man. Seems, he's a businessman. Yeah, he, like, seems, he seems like he did it. He like built a the school. He built a school in Akron for underprivileged yeah, yeah. kids. That's yeah, amazing. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, and it seems like and you got to do that stuff. You know, I think it's important right. to do that kind of stuff. Yeah, it, it seems like most people are looking at LeBron as like this is what I should do instead of like an Iverson or something like you know. I was like exactly went the kind of opposite party, like you know, the, living the rapper lifestyle. That's the thing, man. Yeah, yeah. He took all his friends God, with I him. I mean, Carter, uh, yeah, I um, uh, Carter is um, he, he put 
him through school, and now that's that's that, that's his agent. You mm-hmm. know, and it's just like so. You brought everybody with you. Uh, he that's married cool. his high schools because people hate on him. You know, for no, I mean, it's like this guy's been the most scrutinized athlete you've ever seen. Yeah, He's yeah. been under the microscope since he was 16 years old. He was on Sports Illustrated 16. Yeah, no scandals. High school sweetheart got his kids. Uh, thirty thousand points, ten thousand assists, ten thousand rebounds. Crazy, and he ain't smashed not one Kardashian, and he could have been <laughs> every one of. I think by rule he was supposed to be yeah. able to do each and every yeah, one of them. Yeah. Kim, Chloe, <laughs> Kyla, Latoya, the mama, and Bruce. Bruce would have did him too, but that's a I, different story. Latoya I, and Bruce. Yeah, I, all of them. I think LeBron's biggest scandal was uh, the, the China. China. Well, the no, whole China bullshit. Yeah, when, China bullshit. when he came out, he's like, hey, watch out, watch out. He's like, I'm trying to become a billionaire. Yeah, he's and just a like, businessman. Cool. No, I and understood. Like, you should first. be for free speech. He's like, oh, that. shit, yeah. fine. Think about that. But for 18 years, yeah, yeah, that's the one thing you got and that and and I'm that not, was just and and that was part NBA and guarantee yeah. you guarantee them people in the NBA was telling them hey you, you got to uh, it's too out. much yeah, money here. Yeah, we, yeah. we're talking billions of dollars oh. it's a lot of Chinese people <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> and, and he's and, gonna be the star yeah. and yeah. you yeah. got to blow guy. all of this up you can't yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. do this so yeah, yeah. yeah I mean everybody was a little a little touchy on that of course so every everybody kind of reined it back on that so you can't blame and that's the one thing in all this time so yeah I I take that Norman or to a chat room this is so funny. But this is the worst thing you could say about him. He says, I think he actually showed his dick on TV one time by accident adjusting his shorts. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, yeah. good, good on him. Yeah, that big okay. old yeah. Mike Busey you... pulled his balls out of here yeah. by accident. That's yeah. true. Yeah. Well, that so, wasn't by accident. So, John. I think it was. Oh, well, he was. He was looking at yeah, him. He's a neighbor. Idiot. idiot. My, didn't realize yeah. the cameras <laughs> were on. Not the brightest. My last sports question I got to talk to you about is the uh, Cleveland Browns. Oh, what are you There's doing? There's no reason to talk about it. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? I'm just curious how you Why feel you about that? You know uh, how he feels about Cleveland. Uh, you know the history there. Why would you do that? No, no, I mean, because uh, you, you have a team full of uh, all-stars, and uh, it seems like... <laughs> uh, we got a bad coach, man. The, yeah, the coach oh, should have yeah. been Kitchens. fired Sunday. Yeah, did, you yeah. watch, did you watch any of the yeah, games? Oh, yeah, okay. I, I, so now, should have my I, team. I'm, I'm here's, a gambler Here's the now. deal. Here's the deal. The, the coach should have been fired. It was fourth down and 11. The Browns were going to punt. And then they got a legal procedure. How do you get a legal procedure penalty on the damn punt anyway? Who's mm. jumping off sides on that one? Undisciplined. But we we did. Yes, I know. Mm, Look, yeah. I, I'm from Cleveland. I don't need your help. <laughs> oh. you, you brought up the damn question. Yeah. Let me take it from here. Yeah. Sorry, John. You, sorry. You give me the. You get get not, not you never talk about it. happy ass. <laughs> so in here. Go get you know, the some for John. Is, yeah, give me some of that fucking. Just kick it in now. I'm not leaving the studio until he punches Tom right in the face. No, but it's like, and then he goes to fourth and sixteen, and the coach says, "Let's go for." He brings the offense back <laughs> yeah, on the know. field. Exactly. At that point, somebody should have threw a red flag down. There should have been a giant hook. Like, remember on Showtime at the Apollo? <laughs> yes. well, if you didn't Same like man. it, Sandman <laughs> comes out, and they bring a hook. And that coach should have been fired right then and there, man. There's no reason that he still should have his job. Now, I, I agree with you, but then I start, like, because I sit back and I see the decisions, and I see, like, all the talking heads and, like, criticizing the coaches. and like. But I always think, like, well, they have to know better than all all these but people it's gotta in the media. be coaching, right? Yeah. Well, it's coaching. But no, it has saying, to like, be, like, why would he call that team. play? There had to be a my reason, team. right? My coach needs there was to no go. reason for it. Was it just like oh, no my Atlanta for it. Falcons but are not that bad? Yeah. Dan Quinn should be fired, but he's not. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but he's but on his way. But it's a coaching thing. He's oh, on his he way. He should be. He's on his way. But we and, need, uh, we're and, not uh, that bad. Kitchens we're not. A, we're, we are the. They're saying some people are saying we're the worst team in the NFL. Well, you got uh, Miami uh, the, Falcons. The, yeah, the, no. There's an article. I'll have to find it. But they're saying, as far as the talent, the quarterback that you have now, you had to bench I, I, the I think, quarterback. I think they put that in. A, I, I think they put it. I, I think they actually penalize us more for having talent. And That's not what I'm doing saying. And not doing it. anything same thing with, with Cleveland. Cleveland. Yeah. yeah, it's same the same boat, thing. It's same like you got Julio Miami, Jones, it's nothing you can do with that. Uh, Cincinnati, like they just benched uh, Dalton, so you know yeah, that yeah. they're in the. Um, they're going to be in the quarterback derby coming in. And it's like, let's just see what we got. If this guy can be a good backup, or if we have to do it. But yeah, Dalton yeah. is dead, and uh, and but, but we got Baker. This is his second year, so now yeah, we're yeah. trying to figure out what we're gonna do because it's like he needs to tighten up. Oh yeah, and he walked out of the press conference yeah, the other day, that. and that was that was the worst thing he could have did because yeah. it's like, dude, you got to walk it like you're talking. Yep. We got commercials of your ass. I see your ass five times. I watch uh, bas- uh, a football game. I see your commercial five times, right? Yeah. And you on there now? You two and five. Now Garoppolo is eight and zero. I ain't seen that commercial for him. <laughs> now I'm, right. I'm like, dude, if you out there in the public like that, you can't walk out. People of were shitting on Garoppolo. Yeah. The, the the beginning of the season. 
Mm. They were shitting all over him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why? Right. He got hurt. He hadn't done anything wrong. His numbers were, were good. Yeah, yeah. He had just got hurt. 49ers That's look good, man. But it's like when he's on the field and he got that boy from Ohio State, too, so that helps. Do you? you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That, that helps. Anytime you get a defensive end from uh, Ohio State, that's going to up well, your yeah, game. I think if you get anybody from Ohio State, you'll yeah, be well, right. that, that's true. You get cornerbacks. They they got good teams. Yeah, they're going to win like, the national championship this year, undefeated. Go Bucks. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. John, do you uh, do you partake in any gambling at all? Because uh, this guy's addicted. Right? <laughs> Not addicted. I used to. I just like it. I used to uh, back in <laughs> a the lot. Day. Yeah. You're always on your phone. They're coming yeah. to get me. <laughs> really? No, yeah. I, I used to, but uh, not not anymore, man. Once in a while, um, uh, you go to Vegas and do a little parlay and stuff. But I used to be, man. Uh, it, it was, oh, it was bad. In I was. It, it was. It was cocaine and gambling. All the and those things. Oh, 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 wow. Those things that you put those things together, man, and you betting on all kinds. <laughs> that's that's what you, you bet, need, I'm huh? betting on hockey. My black ass <laughs> betting on hockey. Stop. Man, it, it was crazy. So what I had. I had, yeah, I yeah, had yeah. to stop because that didn't work well when you betting uh, <laughs> hockey parlays and well, stuff. You geeked up out of your mind, do a line and like, <laughs> I got a great hockey parlay. <laughs> Winnipeg, what? Winnipeg. I'm laying two goals. What the hell are your black ass laying anything? Anyway, I'm sorry. Was uh, do you remember your biggest win or your biggest loss? Uh, usually, uh, it, it's hard with uh, gamblers because uh, it all it all just kind of melds together into one big uh, like oh shit, I should have done it. Uh, yeah, it, it was it was. Um, You're talking to me like yeah. I know this. I'm not, I'm I not know. In that world, you you man. win a lot of stuff, man. Like I'm 26 grand. No, Whoa. no shit. Wow. On one game? Yeah, uh, it's a parlay. Oh, really? And then, and then, and then, <laughs> 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 I got something for you. They yeah, yeah. hit a $26,000 parlay. Yeah. Was it an NFL or a college NFL. football? Yeah, oh, NFL. Wow, wow, wow. That's hard to bet on. <laughs> NFL is the. Not uh, me, not me. I had it. Yeah. <laughs> I, I had it. And then they, they go back and lose all of it. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, like yeah. the next And get just as geeked and say, I'm on the roll now. And <laughs> 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 get just as geeked and then just start losing everything. So it didn't last. When, when was the day you finally. <laughs> Is like I'm done with it. Uh, I'm done with all of it. He ran out of cocaine. Uh, <laughs> well, no, some, some you never run out of that. You, you got to walk away from that because it, it, it's just like it, it's so affordable now. <laughs> <laughs> and people give you deals. They, I got I got dealers. They, they, they're friends of mine. They and, give uh, you a deal. Yeah, they, hey, they give you deals. So yeah. Also on like Bam, I mean, we've seen a ton of comedians that have had problems uh, because they're like okay, well, if you're on the road every single weekend, I mean shit. We've heard already. Laying talk about it. I mean, Mitch Hedberg died. I mean, how many different comedians have OD'd or had yeah. substance abuse problems and stuff? Because if you think about it, it's like being in radio and being fat. You get free food all the time. Yeah. It's hard to it's, not it's be kind fat. Of a byproduct yeah. of, of yeah, if of you're on, what you do. I mean, you're you're up at you're entertaining like yeah. multitudes of people that are inebriated at at all hours of the night. And, right? and you if know, you're like, inebriated, you know, you know, you, yeah. you you're drunk and then you, you need a little something to keep you going or uh, yeah, I, you had a rough day or so it, it just uh, just goes good because I've, I've been drinking uh, that was that was like when everything started because well at first it was it was like uh you know i'm in entertainment and uh you know there's a couple um gosh i don't want to mention the, the guy's name that's all just right. died uh comic just died but anyway that was the guy that got me started on coke because it, it was just like it was so cool because he was just mr entertainment and stuff and uh you wanted to want to be like them and that was a cool thing so yeah, yeah. it just naturally just kind of went together for me yeah and i mean she and then even like I've heard Artie Lang talk about it, like when he was like he started off with pills, and then like uh, he going through withdrawals because he ran out of his pills, and then the club manager was like, "Hey, what do you need to perform?" Because all the you know uh, yeah. this is yeah. back in the day, but the club manager wants you to get on. He's like, "Well, yeah. I need uh, some sort of uh, opiate, and I'll just get you heroin." And then that, and, that, you know, and that and he just went down from there. <laughs> yeah, that, and, yeah. and I've heard tons of stories about comedians, like uh, you know, I mean, you, from every city. Uh, uh, the the club owners. This is back, more back in the day. I noticed when we started talking really... about this, Mike Charette left. I'm, <laughs> yeah. I'm but, only imagining yeah. he's in our bathroom right now doing lines. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, like y'all talking yeah. too much. Here's some chopping. Yeah. <laughs> Mike's like, that's uh, how it now used to that be. You mention it. Mm-hmm. Plus, you're. Uh, I like starting rumors for no reason. It, it, I feel like um, for any person that's trying to stay off drugs or like get into some sort of like AA or whatever, like they tell you, like you know, you get into your routine and we're traveling every single weekend I, I guess that's kind of a routine but you're in a different city in yeah. a different place a different yeah. like you're doing different things you're 
eating different things. Uh, you know, you're, yeah. you're setting yourself up for the worst possible scenario yeah. Yeah. to try to stay sober. How did you do it? How did you, the, you're just cold it's, turkey. It's just, uh, it's just a matter of uh, you. You have to realize what's important, and mm. uh, it, it took a while uh, for me. My daughter helped me. You know, it, it was uh, realizing that I had somebody that was counting on me. And, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, because I, I, I was very self-centered. You know, it was like think about it. It's like you go through uh, high school. My teachers used to give me time to do a comedy at the end of the class because I was so funny. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so you're joking around, you're joking around. You you go to school, then I, then I start doing stand up comedy. Okay, cool. So now I'm I'm cracking jokes for a living. So I'm not growing up. Then then I get a job as an actor. Now I'm make believe. So when was it ever serious? You know, I, I was always out there. So I yeah, was yeah, always yeah. self centered. It was always about me, that type of thing. Then I, once I had my daughter, then I realized it was somebody else out there that was counting on me, and I had to I had to be accountable. Wow, I I never thought about the uh, the mentality of like, hey, um, I'm a comedian. I'm here to make people laugh. And if you're doing that your whole entire career, it's like you, you, you've never had a, like a regular nine to five. I haven't had a job since 1989. God. Like yeah. so, this is you. you've been a, a career comedian, yeah, 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 yeah. the whole time. They have everything. I do jokes, man. That, yeah, that, yeah. This is it. Jokes, and then um, make believe. I was an actor. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I was, yeah, I was yeah, a part time yeah. actor, man. Yeah, yeah. Full time comic, part time actor, and that's it. You know, yeah. Well, so, for yeah. a part time actor, I'd say you did a damn fine job. I mean, well, was, th- thanks, man. I, that was fun. Some but pretty you know, legendary stuff. I mean, it's I got it's, I, a, it's I, a I show was, is still kicked yeah. around. You know what I mean? Blessed to be on a great show, man. A couple shows, man. I was with DL. We did five years with DL and five years with Living Single. So nice ten year run. It was the nineties, man. It was it was crazy, man. It was nineties. It was uh, Bill Clinton. It was um, it was um, living single, working with beautiful women, cocaine. It was crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Living single though yeah, is pre- one of those social it, that's media. That's pretty iconic. Yeah, I grew up on that show. Yeah, I yeah. did too. Like that show. Yeah, that I was mean, that was a uh, great. I mean, it, it was uh, that when we brought the cast together, every we just jail. So we like family, you know. I'm I still, surprised I still that call hasn't them. been rebooted in they, some way. They were way. talking about it, but uh, Queen is uh, she. She's a producer, and she's got a show. Erica has a show. Kim Fields is uh, directing some stuff. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, it's like, it's good to, uh, you know, reminisce and, and reboot and stuff, but if you got a current thing, you know, yeah. you're not trying to go back. Yeah. It's like, you, you got There's fond no memories yeah. of that. Yeah, 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 you know, yeah. but I, I got some more stuff that I'm doing now. I wish I had a new show, you know, but it's like, you know, uh, if, they, if they did bring it back, uh, that'd be lovely. I think I can clear my busy schedule. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I might be able to make it, but, you <laughs> well, know, other people are doing stuff, so you gotta wait, because I want to make sure if we do if we did it yeah, i want yeah. everybody you know writers and, and get the whole game for right. sure I, yeah. I, speaking of the 90s i feel like that was the last time that uh a, a celebrity could really get away with anything like yeah. uh it was pretty no phones so back then. No phones. No phones i feel, back I feel then. like it was barely like we were just yeah. kind of tipping into that information age no, once uh, you got the, those phones that that was a game yep. changer because i guarantee you i'd have been i'd have been on uh, somebody <laughs> been tweeting yeah, I'd have yeah, been yeah. On Facebook. look at overton driving down the street i'm i'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the truck getting high man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and no, because, yeah, no one had like everybody's yeah. paparazzi now yeah. like somebody would have had me because i was out like uh, i never forget i was i was in pittsburgh and i did a gig and uh, we just got drunk as hell. And I'm at the bar, man, and I'm just passed out. <laughs> oh, wow. I mean, I'm just at, at it was just you know, we had did two shows, man. I'm drunk as hell, man. I'm drinking Patron. And uh, I just passed out at the bar, and I'm just laying there. And um, this girl walked by and said, is that Overton? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and somebody said, get him up. Don't nobody need to see him. Like, <laughs> but it was it was before the phones and stuff. Yeah, because yeah. other than that, it would have been somebody with a video of me. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. it'd have been, and they'd have been drawing been, a dick on your face. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it'd, it'd have been embarrassing. So yeah, I yeah. got all of my stuff out of the way early. So that is right good. Before, yeah, yeah, before the phones, because oh, I'd, I'd have been on TMZ daily. It well, it makes me okay. So what do you think, John? What's going to happen with na- current day celebrities? Are they just going to know that they can't act a fool because they're no. going to get caught, they're gonna, or they're, they're gonna just going to get caught and yeah. everybody's going to be like, oh, every like, is it going to be like, well, if oh, getting caught every- becomes the norm. Then we pay less attention Look to it. Look at how right? fast people get over stuff too. That's true. It'll be, so be outraged for like yeah. two days, and then something else happens, and yep. then everybody forgets that, about that's it. That's the thing. Right. We, we, you know, everything just happens. But it's it's going to be some people that realize that. You know, I can't do this. out um, And there's some people that just don't care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and, and those are the people that, like I said, people will get over. Like Artie, all of the stuff, you know, you, you talk about Artie. I mean, it's like the guy was on Howard Stern. You know, you had all, all these things happening, man. But 
drugs just got him. Yeah, know? oh yeah, yeah. Just, just got him, but he's he's still hanging in there and, and he's still doing. It. But that that's a, you know sometimes people just um, uh, the demons are too much, man. Yeah, it and, is. Yeah, and yeah. You gotta I can't. Go. Addictions you, you can't, are with him, I can't get over that deflated nose, man. Mm. What what happened? Well, that, just from I think the cartilage wears yeah. down. I actually after dated you do, a girl. After you do so much stuff, it, yeah, I, I've heard about that. I dated uh, a girl that had a uh, part of her the deviated septum yeah, and that all of that stuff up yeah. from doing. I cocaine. heard about that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm surprised. I do well. Just I'm, get it fixed, though. My God, you got money. Like fix your nose, for the love of God. He wants it to be like a. Reminder, yeah, he did, uh, yeah, it, but but, uh, but no, I mean yeah. like, like I got, a, I, yeah, I got a lot enough. of reminders. That's a bad look. Man. <laughs> yeah, it yeah. is. And that's a that's a bad it's, look. It's, it's sad, and it, but it goes to show you, man. Like addiction is a like if you got a bad powerful thing. The, yeah, it is. I mean, the fact that he's still alive is amazing too. Like uh, he had a lot of close calls and suicide attempts know, and things yeah. that were rough. That, that, like, that's God rough, damn. man. Like I said, those demons, man. Yeah, and, yeah, 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 yeah. You got to deal with it. So, um, John, uh, one last question: Have you? Uh, uh, have you seen like any celebrity friends from the '90s and like people that uh, you've known that had a bunch of money, like blow it in any way, like uh, invest poorly, um, just you know make bad decisions, and then not being able to like dig themselves out of it? You know, I, I can imagine that uh, that happens a lot. Uh, it, it happens. I made a lot of bad decisions. I, I bought a, a plumbing company. You know, I was trying to parlay really? my money and, you know, it was a like plumbing company. Plumbing wow. company. Yeah, a friend, yeah. A friend of mine had a, um, um, he, he, he's a, he's a plumber and, um, he had a, a company, and it was they were doing great business. And the, and the and guy was like, "Hey, you need to invest in this because we got more business we can handle." So at yeah, first, yeah. I got into it. I was just I bought a couple trucks because I mean this guy was oh, he was always working. Man. Yeah, he, he, this is my guy always working. And so I, I got into that, and so I ended up getting the company. Just I didn't know what I was doing, and, and like I said, you know, you sitting up there, I'm, I'm gambling and, and getting high, and it's like you got to be on top of that stuff. Yeah, so, yeah. so you make bad decisions. Like I was doing them parlays. I bought a plumbing company. <laughs> I was parlaying and pulling and, 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 and getting high as hell. So it, it was just bad moves, you know. But it, it's like you know, you just stick around. Plumbing, parlays, partaking, yeah. Yeah. all the peas, all, all yeah. the peas, all yeah. the peas. Yeah, yeah. And, and the it, other one too that I won't mention, but mm. that pea's good pea too. And, yeah. and did your buddy like run it into the ground? Uh, yeah, the company? Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, like I said, I'm thinking, all right, I, I, if I, if I got your back like this, I know you're gonna take care of it. He he just got off on the fact that he was the boss now, so nah, he yeah, knew yeah, that he yeah. was the boss. So he trying to do so. So he ended up running it in, into the ground. I'm thinking, I got you there. I don't, I don't know nothing about plumbing, but I know that you know. Yeah, and of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, he getting off because he the boss and he can order people around and just ran the stuff out of business. So lost some, lost some chips on that. One. Yeah, 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 lost, yeah, yeah, yeah. Lost some chips. Is this why yesterday you were asking me to invest into an air conditioning company? You know? <laughs> Is there something you need to tell me about? I uh, well, here's yeah, the, just just make yeah. sure he watches he watches your money, man, because yeah. that that was my mistake. Well, he's in charge of the money. Yeah, mm-hmm. this guy. Uh, I'm not uh, okay. And okay. I see him just doing uh, crazy. <laughs> he, so, you know what he, the movie always does? He'll come in and he'll give me a fifty dollar bill or something. And he'll be like, "Look, I got to give you that to even it up." <laughs> and I'm like, "Well, what do you mean? Wait, even wait, you, what's going what, on? What exactly? Oh, I, get, I get weird. Uh, like, is this is this I even? A, I get a fifty. I, get a, I don't think a fifty, I'll just 50 get, evens anything. <laughs> no, up. Sometimes this I is like get a here, check. it's just a tribute here. Look, sometimes I got to give you something because I just lost a shitload of money, man. I'm like, why why are you giving me this? You're like, well, I got to You know, I believe I call it. A good faith donation. Yeah, okay. yeah he calls yeah. them donations. That's okay, right. see, there he you calls, go. He's like, I gotta give yeah, you. You this better donation. watch that, man. And I go, what do I do with this? And you're like, give it to your wife and tell her to scan it into their bank account in like three days. Yeah. And I'm like, what? What is happening? Didn't and never look at what he writes in the what it's for because yeah. it's all like just ridiculous stuff. A lot of times you say like for kids, mm. for sick kids. Half the time he spells my name wrong. Yeah, that's I'm surprised true. Surprised my checks go through. Well, he's still right. Um, so this is the money, it's not, man. Huh? It's not direct deposit. <laughs> so John, oh my God, what do you think about Cleveland this weekend? I think they're, uh, they're minus oh, four. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let, let's uh, get off of that, one, man. Let's get off of that. Because I mean, I mean, something <laughs> tell me fifty dollars. You know, you got I screwed am. out a I, lot more yeah. than fifty. I, I'm, I'm thinking they're what bouncing. I'm thinking they're bouncing back from. Uh, they ain't uh, bouncing the back from nothing. Okay, I said I paid them. They're done, man. You better stay the hell away from the Browns, man. They bad news. Stay the hell out of. Ohio State has covered every game except one that I had a parlay on. <laughs> and I oh, you're it. back out! <laughs> oh, no, I knew it! Oh, no. I knew it! No. He he's like, he's like, I'm done with plumbing, no. I'm done with parlays. No. I knew you had it on Ohio no. State. I 
see the tweets. Got, not, what not do you like, got? Ohio State oh, this weekend? We <laughs> What's that? Hold He'll on. Let me look at, you better be no, good. Let me look at the lines. I got to see the lines here. Yeah. What's the under or the Overton? Yeah. The Overton. Yeah. Take the Overton. Always take the Overton. That's important. I can't believe you. the Buckeyes not playing this week. Are you actually going to They're not playing this week. Are you actually going to get gambling advice? I don't know. John knows, He's gambling. I'm not a college football guy. That's why he gave you that $50. Here's what you do. You go see him this weekend at the yeah. Orlando Improv. That's go right. up and ask for his football picks. Yeah. <laughs> see, I get, my, get my pick. Come, yeah. come tonight so I can get, yeah. I can get, you know, I can get a special yeah. Two shows parlay. tonight, yeah. two yeah. shows tomorrow, I get one my three on team Sunday. Parlay. Yeah. If you, come Sunday and tell him how good you did. Yeah. If you're starting a plumbing company, who knows? Yeah, yeah. 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 I got plumbing <laughs> advice and parlay. <laughs> <laughs> That's John. what I'm naming this show. Plumbing yeah. advice. Plumbing and parlay. Yeah, there you go. Can't go wrong. John, thanks so much for coming, man. Hey, man. Thanks for having me. Always fun. Here.